Junk and Foo and Debbie over here at the old building. Hello, everybody. We hope everybody's having a good day. Yes. So we showed this the other day. Uh, we got our estimate. We had to sign an agreement, and that's the way they do it. Just a little contract thing. Sent it back to them in the mail, so they said there shouldn't be no problem. The pipes there. So what they do, and they put them in, I think it's pretty much standard. I think it's supposed to be 12 and a half inches from the center of the toilet. So we went out and bought the cheapest toilet at Home Depot. And what was it, 89, Debbie? Yes, 89. So we just brought it in, and I got to put it together with a no biggie back there yeah it's a glacier bay and I remember buying these things for like $29 it seems like makes me sound old oh wait a minute I guess I am so anyway this is a high flush now the one place we had had to do a flush and it seemed like that was more of a pain working on them than anything so this one I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, I really have one of these in that little flush stuff. Oh. Me too. So there's the back of it. Exciting video about a toilet. So. Well, you know what? You can always change this into a house. Yeah. Or maybe, like, you thinking Don and Bonnie? Yeah, we could uh, rent this to Don and Bonnie. Yeah, I was actually, we were talking about it, maybe, maybe turn it into a house. So what I thought I would do, because we got to put a sink in, and these drains won't be hooked up no more. A couple of them are out through the floor. So I, I was just kind of thinking, or we were talking about it a little bit, but I didn't know about Don and Bonnie, though. Oh. <laughs> right, Heavy? Right, no, I, I don't really. So really, if we did that... We could make a bathroom here. And of course you want to figure what you're going to do before you start doing your plumbing. Because uh, the main sewage will be coming in right here. Someplace. And you got to put in for your, you'd have to have the drains with a traps on them for your shower. Or sink and all that. So. I'm almost thinking if we did that, we'd do a, a bathroom in this corner. Instead of, this is just uh, thinking out loud. Could put the kitchen over here with a little island, but that would be quite a bit of work, but it might, might be something to think about. Or you could put the kitchen to the back to the bathroom. Generally, you want your bathroom away from your kitchen. But if you put your bathroom door on this end, and I didn't bring a tape measure, I usually got one in my truck. So, if you put the bathroom here, this would all be enclosed, maybe have your shower this way or whatever. And uh, your kitchen door down here someplace wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, this could be a, like a living room. Pretty good sized living room. Um, but you could make your, like W say, you could make your kitchen right here and make it on the other side. But I almost think this would be convenient for two bedrooms. I could take that door, I could put that in a different project and block that in right off, insulate everything real good, put some new windows in. Siding, vinyl siding with uh, insulated around it. We're just thinking out loud again. So that would be a little bit bigger bedroom than this would be. Have to cover the fuse box and everything up. So yeah, we just went to Home Depot and got that. And Hey, Debbie! Yeah, we just kind of want to get this over here so when they come... Hey, can you bring that um, thing in we just got, that 
pump thing. Yeah. If I was going to go buy one of these and I got a thing in the mail from Home Depot telling me my credit card, if I didn't use it, they was going to, one day was going to uh, cancel it because I haven't used it in 34 months. So I just decided to use it and keep it handy. So if I go to building that pole barn, and we got this here. Cordless air inflator. And I've already got the batteries for this. Can you open it up, baby? I can try. Maybe bring it over here. Because I don't even know exactly. This is what I use. This is what I used for that other thing. Right, well, that, here, wait a minute. Watch yeah, it's just got a little... I want to stand it up so it don't fall out. I don't know what else. Can you bring it over here on the table a little lower, Debbie? Or? Yeah. On our dirty farm stove here. Maybe tip it upside down. Oops, don't want to hit it. Directions? Who needs directions? I don't. Oh. I've never even seen one of these before. We was actually looking for something that plugged in the lighter in case uh, we want to put air in our truck tire or something. I think that actually And I got to tear my compressor apart and fix it. So. Yeah, yeah, can you take it right out of there? Can't do stuff very good with one hand. That must be though. Yep, there's where the battery goes, and we got batteries. And that's for, I don't see a hookup for uh, tires, though. Right here. I think that's it, is uh, I don't know, it might be. Yeah, it looks like that thread's on your tire. I see the thing in the picture for, like, doing bass or balls and stuff like that. Let's see, that goes that way. What is that? Thing? Oh, that must be for the lighter. Oh, yeah, the lighter. Plugs in there. Not a charger. Just a compartment, huh? Oh. Yep, that's pretty long, so you can plug it in and get your back tire up. We'll be trying it out, but I'm going to probably use it mostly with a... 20 volt, I guess it is, or amp lithium battery. Oh. Can you hold it a second, Debbie? Thank you. Well, let's see what we got going here. Yeah, that's the trick is getting stuff back in once you take it out. I know that ain't going to go, especially when you're doing a video. Nope. And that's why we'd use the battery. This would only be like an emergency or something. No, I'm going to have to mess with it. I don't want to force it. Well, anyway, hope everybody's having a good day. Oh, there we go. We got it. All oh, right. That's pretty handy, lightweight. Yeah. Imagine you just push you this. Got that open? Yeah. You just push that button. We'll take a direction so only the box here and I'll look at it. Directions are kind of a last resort, you know. Or we can put it back in the box if you want, Debbie. I know you like keeping stuff in the boxes. Well, that's our thought. Maybe possibly turn this into a little apartment or a little house or something. Uh, we, we change our mind a lot on different stuff. Now our porta potty there, we'll probably take that over to Porville. We get it cleaned up and start doing our hot rod little track out there. We've got company or a picnic or something. We'll have a somewhat of a bathroom closer. And well, thanks for stopping by. Here's Johnny. Goodbye now. Goodbye.